In this video, we finish our sail from Thailand and check into Langkawi, Malaysia. International travel has not been shut down. Ports are still open worldwide. In early March, when this was filmed, we are happy but nervous to see if COVID precautions are taken very seriously. Quarantine and lockdown measures are not put in place at this time. We get updated on local news of how the virus is evolving and plan to stay as isolated as possible. Our goal is to stay healthy, stay safe, and sail the Indian Ocean. Go ahead and hit subscribe now to see our journey. they came so close. I was like, what's happening? There's so many boats. Like, why would they do that? They avoided the green fishing boats so nicely and then they just went bam, right across us. Yeah. They had to know we were real. Yeah, they, they were just know. checking us out. Had to suss out Nanji as well. Yeah. They yeah, just wanted to see if it was Nanji. And sure enough, it was. This is Adamant too. Yay. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Yay. See you in Kula. Go swimming. Come on, Oh, there's a oh, urchin. Oh, Molly. Uh oh. I think that Marley's having the most fun right now, but I'm ready for a dip. Family. <laughs> like a runner on this island. <laughs> we 
been on quarantine. <laughs> This yellow flag is a Q flag. Every time you enter a new country, this flag is to be shown. It's a symbol that you have not been checked in. We are now entering Malaysia. Our 130 nautical mile journey is finished. We just arrived to Langkawi, Malaysia, and we're trying to check in, but it is prayer time, so everything is closed. It's two o'clock in the afternoon, so we have to return to uh, work with the visa lady to check in, customs and immigration, all that good stuff. And uh, now we have to use the ATM, of course not a bank, and we're trying to find a rental car so we can provision. Our goal is to just be among the people for 24 to 48 hours in our own car, our own bubble, because a lot of the ports are being shut down here, and uh, even the US right now it has shut down New York. There is limited traveling everywhere in all different ways, whether it's airports, whether it's boats. So we are just trying to come in and do some real serious provisioning now and avoid people. You know, we're kind of floating around in our own bubble, our own quarantine. And yeah, so we'll just get our car, get checked in, get our stuff, and then we're gonna get out of here ASAP. As you can see behind me, this is a ferry terminal where lots of tourists come and to do island hopping and various excursions. And it is completely empty. We're the only ones here. We're only checking for AC here. No AC, no go. <laughs> so there is no lice, there's no lice all anywhere. And there is no bleach whites anywhere. We managed to find some any kind of mask. And we also managed to find some hand sanitizer. So we are trying to wipe down like taxis and cars that we rent. And this one came with used Kleenex inside the door. So, red flags! We're trying to eliminate them, but they keep popping up everywhere we go.
this whole situation's worse because it is so incredibly hot. You have to cover up, you have to wear masks, the windows don't roll down. The aircon sucks. The aircon's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> and Benita, anything Talk. you have to say? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh my God. It's messed up. AF, like for real, all around. Today, the long-awaited life raft was picked up. Driving through buildings is like my favorite thing to do. It's also a very hard thing to do. Think about that. See if it actually is Maybe a life raft. Maybe spend a night in the death raft. See, yes! yes! See if it's actually a life raft and not a death raft after all these years. We've just been calling it the death raft. This is actually on my bucket list of things to do. Is yes. to stay the night in a life raft. So this works for me, <laughs> totally. And, and like, cause life rafts are really small. And so like a four person life raft is really enough space for one human. So if we, if it does float and this thing works and we're going to squeeze three people and one dog into a four person life raft, it'd be a very good scenario of how shit it is. <laughs> Just to show people what you're stepping into. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Don't ever abandon your boat. Yeah, don't ever abandon your boat or you'll be stuck in a life raft going crazy. <laughs> Work it out. Thank you for watching another video. Please visit patreon.com and find La La Libra to support my videos. All videos are supported by my patrons. Please hit the subscribe button now to follow this journey and see the details of my isolation, quarantine, lockdown, and what happens with the Indian Ocean crossings.